you are a professional student, you are welcome to another session of equity valuation. And in this session, common stock valuation model is our major assignment. And we are talking of stock valuation. Stock valuation is the process of determining the intrinsic value of a share of common stock of a company. Of determining what? Movies, intrinsic value. So there are two approaches to value a share of common stock. The first one is absolute valuation, which involves discounted cash flow method. And the second one is relative valuation, which I also call comparable approach. Now, when we are talking of stock valuation, the purpose of stock valuation is to find the value of a common share, which is justified by the company earning and growth potential by the company what company earnings and growth potentials now another reason for calculating or for finding common stock value is to identify undervalue and overvalue stocks to also overweight and underweight them in the investment portfolio and generate alpha that is excess return. I said alpha is what? Alpha is excess returns. We use valuation or stock valuation for the purpose of what? Purpose of justify the earnings and growth potential. That is one. Two, to know undervalue and overvalue stock. And also to overweight or underweight them. To overweight and underweight them. That that's the purpose. And as I said earlier, we have discounted cash flow and relative uh, valuation as two method we use in valuing common stock. Now, when I'm talking of method, the first one is what is discounted cash flow method and it is also known as absolute valuation approach which attempts to find the easy value of a stock by discounting the future cash flow at a discounting rate which reflects the risk inherent in the stock see my brothers if you want to know the value of anything the value of anything is the what is the discounted value of all the income or cash flow from that thing as a stock for example you want to know the value of a stock the value of a stock is the discounted value or the present value of all the cash flow emanating from that stock so discounted or let me say the absolute valuation approach attempt to find the easy value of a stock by discounting the future cash flow of that stock at a discounting rate which reflects the risk inherent in the stock. As a result of this, it is also called discounted cash flow approach. So the common discounted cash flow approach valuation model include the single stage dividend growth model, which is also known as Gordon Growth Group Model. We also have multi stage dividend models and free cash flow valuation. Those are the three basic ways that we use in calculating the value of a common stock using this discounted cash flow. Now, let's start with common, I'll start with distant growth dividend model. The constant growth dividend model, which is also known as single state dividend growth model or golden model, is appropriate for valuation of a minority stake in mature dividend paying stock please note it it is only used for what valuation of minority stake in mature dividend paying companies so the stock value under this dividend discount model is equal to the discounted price value of the dividend per share expected to grow at a constant rate and this is the model this is the model Got to dividend multiplied growth all over R, which is 
rate of return on or cost of capital. R is what? Rate of returns or cost of capital multiplied by the growth. And we are talking about the growth. Growth is what is gotten by one minor dividend payout multiplied by return on equity. That is uh, on the usage of that. Now, for example, For example, suppose dividend paid is equal to what? 2 naira 30 cover and the cost of capital is 13% with a growth of 5% per annum. The price per share or the interest value of the share in this case will be equal to you know, when we use our growth model all over r minus g our do is 2 naira 30 cover into 1.05 which is 5 percent growth all over what's our cost of capital 13 percent minus what minus growth which is five percent which is five percent so what we have here is two point four one five all over zero point zero eight so the share is equal to thirteen era nineteen cover this is the interest value and if the price in the market, the market price of the share is different from this. If it is lesser, if the price in the market is lesser, it means this stock is uh, overvalued. And decision, the best decision is to sell. But if the price in the market is higher than this, understand? If the price is in market, let me make myself clear. I said. This interval, which is 390 cover, if the price in the market is lesser than this price, that is undervalue. Please, if I mean to take care, correct me and correct yourself. That is a undervalue. If the price market is lesser, let's assume they are selling a price in the market at the rate of 25 naira. It means that the price in the market is undervalued. So the decision here is to buy. That's buy decision. But if the market price is 40 naira or 35 naira, it means the stock is overvalued. So the decision is to what? Is to sell. This is how we use the constant growth dividend model to find the interest value of a stock in order to know the kind of decision to make in the market. This is actually used by fundamental analyst so that is a uh, on that now let's look at the multi-stage the multi-stage dividend discount model the multi-stage dividend can discount model can be used to value minority stake in company which are expected to have abnormal growth for some initial period say five years and the growth rate is expected to stabilize in the long run so, dividend per share per annum are forecasted based on actual growth rate in the initial years. And the value of the stock at the end of initial growth rate period is actually determined using the single stage dividend growth model or using some price multiples such as price earning ratio and dividend and internal or terminal value are discounted at the required rate of return. Now, the model for that, if it is a multi stage, is what we are looking at on the screen the first dividend the first dividend all over the rate of return risk per one the second dividend that is the second year dividend all over the same rate risk power two up to the last dividend rate to power the number of year which is n plus the terminal value rate to power you discounted uh, or you discount the terminal value with the same rate for the same period as well 
Understand? Now, VO is the current dividend per share, and R is the square rate of return of equity. So, G is the growth rate of the dividend, which is known as a sustainable growth. Sustainable growth rate, which equal to the product of retention ratio and the return on equity. So the growth is got what? Like we said earlier, one minus dividend payout ratio multiplied by return on equity. So that is how the growth is calculated. Let's look at an example of this multiple or multiple stage dividend growth model. Now, example. Suppose the dividend are not zero, are not zero for the first several years. For the first several years, the dividend forecast. For the next three years are given below. Yeah, one, two, three. Dividend expected. We have one era, two nera, two nera fifty cobble. Those are the dividend for the three years uh, forecasted. Now, what is required of us? Our oh, question is still continuing. Let's continue with the question. And after three years, question continue here. After three years, uh, after third year, rather, after third year, dividend will grow. Dividend will grow at a constant rate, at a constant rate of 5% per year. The required rate of return, the required rate of return is 10%. Now, question says, what is the value of the stock? What is the value of the stock? Now, what we need to do is that you have to know that when we are dealing with non-constant growth model, we should be able to identify when the constant growth will start. And in this our example, it is in year three that the constant growth will start. So the constant growth model can be used to determine the stock price at time three. Understand? And we have to compute the present value of the stock price three years down the road. Then we had the present value of the dividend that we be paid between now and then so the price in three years will be like this though the price of the stock in three years will be equal to dividend in third years when this price will be stable plus the growth all over rate minus growth and what's dividend in third year is two nera fifty cover plus one point oh five which is five percent growth all over 10 percent which is a return on equity minus growth which is five and this one definitely will give us the value of the price in year three which is got to 52 naira 50 cover so if that is the case we can now calculate the total value of the stock at the present value of this first three dividend plus the present value 
of one we got in time in, in year three. And how we do, do we go about it? The price in the first beginning will be dividend in first year all over 1 plus r raised to power 1 plus dividend in second year all over 1 plus r raised to power 2 plus dividend in third year all over 1 plus r raised to power 3 plus the terminal value which is 52 naira that is dividend in any year all over 1 plus r raised to power 3 as well so for the first one it is one naira all over no, our rate is what 10 percent that's 1.1 1 .1, raised to power 1 plus second year which is 2 naira all over 1 plus 1.1 1 .1, raised to power 2 plus 2 naira 50 cobo all over 1.1 1 .1, raised to power 3 plus 52 naira 50 cobo all over 1.1 1 .1, raised to power 3 as well so this one will give us what? It will give us for the first one, we have 0 0.91 plus 1.65 plus 1.88 plus 39.44. So this one will give us what? 43 naira 88 cobble. So 43 naira 88 cobble is the value of the stock. I think we are clear about that. If you have any issue, don't hesitate to call us in our office. We have a lot of airplanes that you can reach. And once you reach us, you definitely get a better information if this one is not clear. But when it's started good, we always give better information anytime, any day. That's why we are taking our time to get to the nitty gritty of everything we are dealing in. So that is uh, on that.